Imagine the energy of a really big bomb, like an atomic bomb. Now imagine squeezing all that energy into a space so small, it's like super tiny. That's Planck energy, the most energy you can pack into the smallest possible space. It's a huge number, a 10 with 19 billion zeros after it. This is where our normal rules of physics get wonky. It's where space and time get all wobbly from the massive energy. Think of it this way, if you could use Planck energy, a tiny bit could power the whole world for billions of years. But this energy is super hard to control. It's wild and could rip apart space and time itself. Planck energy shows us that the biggest and smallest things in the universe are connected, just like giant stars collapse into black holes. Planck energy could squeeze space so much that it makes a tiny black hole. Now let's talk about Planck length. It's the smallest distance that makes any sense in physics, super duper tiny. If an atom was as big as the universe, the Planck length would be like a tree. So what happens if you try to cram more than Planck energy into a space smaller than Planck length? Scientists think you'd make a black hole, a place so dense that nothing, not even light, can get out. This connection between Planck energy and black holes shows a link between the two big ideas in physics, quantum mechanics, which is about tiny stuff, and general relativity, which is about gravity and big stuff. The Planck scale, where these two ideas meet, is mysterious. Our understanding of the universe breaks down there, but it's also exciting because it might hold the secrets of the universe. Even empty space isn't really empty. It has a special type of energy called zero-point energy. Tiny particles pop in and out of existence all the time, making a constant buzz of energy. Imagine a calm ocean. Underneath, there are waves and currents. That's like zero-point energy, a hidden energy field everywhere. Each little pop of energy is tiny, but there are so many of them that it adds up to a lot. Some scientists think zero-point energy might be dark energy, the mysterious force making the universe expand faster. Our universe, with its special rules, might not be the only one. The multiverse idea says our universe is just one of many, each with its own rules. Imagine a giant bubble bath, each bubble a different universe. Some universes might be like ours, others totally different, with different rules and even different dimensions. The multiverse is a crazy idea, but it could explain some puzzling things about our universe. For example, our universe has very specific rules that allow life to exist. If there are many universes, each with different rules, we just happen to be in one where life is possible. The Planck scale, with its huge energies and tiny distances, might help us understand the multiverse. Some think new universes are born from the chaotic energy at the Planck scale. 